welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you along with kind of what you have to do if you're planning on getting married in a Catholic church and kind of the process that you have to go through and like the sacraments and stuff like that. So I actually was raised Catholic. Um, my family is Catholic. I just, however, was never baptized. So I have to go through that process. And actually today I'm meeting at the parishioner's office at our church um, and kind of doing readings and like going over some things. I'm actually not quite sure exactly what we're doing, but I'm going to have to take a few of these like hour long classes leading up into the baptism. So I'm going to take you guys along with me throughout this whole process. If you guys have any questions, we can kind of learn this together, but I want to give you guys kind of some insight if you're in the same boat as me and have to go through kind of like the Catholic church process to get married. So if you guys are new here, I do different types of wedding planning videos. I am a 2023 bride and I also do like travel videos and a bunch of lifestyle vlogs on here as well. And if you guys enjoy any of that content, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss a notification. I also wanted to point out that my fiance and I actually went to a premarital class as well. It was called Bright Beginnings and that, and that was set up through the pastor of our church. So it was about a six hour class and we had to go there and like learn things about faith and like do little exercises and stuff. It was on a Sunday morning so I'm not sure if you guys will have to do that but it could be in the cards for you so just keep a look out on that. And we also do had to do like uh, 150 like online questionnaire about like each other and we did that privately. Um, on our own time, but we also have to meet with our pastor and go to church frequent Sundays just to like meet with him and see what else we have to do. So we are doing that this Sunday and I will also like keep you guys updated on what you have to do in order to fulfill all the sacraments and get married in a Catholic church. So I'm going to head out now and go to my little meeting at the parish office and I'll let you guys know how it goes and what we did. <laughs> I just want to show you guys like some of the things that we got during that pre-marriage class so it's like stuff like this like how to navigate disagreements and it's basically just what it sounds like like teaching you how to prepare for your marriage um be attentive be insightful like stuff like that and then and then if your priest requires it you also will get this certificate of participation which you will have to turn back in to your priest. So basically the best advice that I can give to you guys is to just stay on top of all the church stuff so that you don't get overwhelmed. Make sure you meet with your pastor and go to church. Right Comet? And that way you'll stay on top of all of it and you'll be ready to go when wedding time comes. I know it's a lot on top of wedding planning and everything else going on in your life, but you have to make this a priority, which is what I'm trying to keep an open mind to because it's just as important as everything else in the wedding planning process. So I just got back from my first meeting at the church and it basically what I'm gathering from this is that it's like a sped up catechism just because I am getting baptized in two months and that's kind of how it aligned with like how our wedding is. So they gave me this like thick binder that I basically have to read and go through and then I'm basically going to learn about um, faith and like mass and like just basically how to be a Catholic and everything so like I said from what I'm getting at this it's basically like a sped up catechism but um today I w it was just me and like the lady that worked there so it wasn't like a class or anything so it's kind of one-on-one -on -one, which I like it's like what less overwhelming and like a little bit more personable so I'll show you guys the book and like kind of what it looks like so this is the book so it's just got like different things like what is faith, the Holy Trinity, the Bible. Um, this is the one that she wants me to look at because we're going to go to Mass together. This kind of explains everything and then I can like highlight in this and kind of learn but it's a pretty thick book. We're basically doing this over the course of two months so I have to meet each week and hopefully by then I will have more of an insight of like the Bible and the church and everything like that. So stay tuned and I'll let you guys know like exactly what else I have to do. Hi guys, so I'm currently finishing getting ready right now 
and it is a Fat Tuesday today. So happy Fat Tuesday. I personally don't like punchki, so I'm not gonna have one and I'm dieting for my bachelorette party. But anyways, today is the day where I'm actually going to mass with my RCIA teacher. So I've had a few classes, I've been taking them weekly. They're about 40 minutes to an hour um, each week. Tonight is Tuesday night, so I'm going in at six and then we're gonna do like we're gonna go to mass together so she's gonna teach me how to do all that properly and I've been doing my readings and everything. She also gave me a Bible and then like a couple other readings and we've gotten through an extensive amount since the time I believe I've met with her three or four times now. So like I said, it's once a week. So if you guys have to do this, I hope that you guys get to do it the way I'm doing it. I'm not sure if it's always like this but I just have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with her um, at the church where our priest is and he will be the one that's giving the mass today who is also marrying us So it's really nice to just do like one-on-one -on -one. that way I can ask any questions and it's very laid back um, Also, I wanted to say because I was unaware of this um, I thought at first that I was gonna have like two godparents which would be my aunt and uncle But since I am older which I didn't even think about I technically do not need godparents So you will just need a sponsor So I have my best guy friend Craig who is also a confirmed Catholic He will be being my sponsor at my baptism where I will be getting confirmed Have my first communion and be baptized all within one So I kind of knock out three birds within one stone on April 8th So I am continuing my prep uh, to get baptized and to be able to get married in the Catholic Church So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys kind of how it's been going. It's very laid back um, It's not like you have to meet every day and for long hours like I said it's just once a week and For an hour each time. I don't know if it would be the same for everyone else But that's just what I'm doing, but I hope that gives you a little bit more of insight So I'm gonna finish getting ready and go to class and mass It's also nice too because I was given this book that kind of leads up until Easter So like Ash Wednesday today is right here. It's Punchki Day and Mardi Gras So it just kind of gives you a little bit of an insight onto what's happening at the church and the masses during the Easter season. So I have this and then I also have my Bible, which I've been All reading. All right guys, I also want to jump on here because because now we're a month into my RCIA classes that I've been doing at the church, which is just like a sped up catechism, like I said. Um, so right now I'm learning about all the sacraments and I get baptized in like a little, over a month and I'm excited because I'm really learning a lot and I've been doing a lot of readings and reading the Bible and stuff like that so so yeah if you are an adult you will get confirmed have your communion and get baptized all in one time um, at the Easter vigil which is the day before Easter and I'm doing it with two other adults and I have my best friend Craig as my sponsor so he's gonna kind of help me through all that at one of the last meetings with Lori, who is my RCIA teacher, she's gonna walk me through like in the church and tell me like everything that I have to do and all of that. So I have to get an outfit. Um, I'm not gonna wear white. I'm just probably gonna, she told me to just wear something nice and something comfortable. And then after there's like hors d'oeuvres and um, take pictures with the priest and everything. So yeah, just make sure you're staying on top of your readings. I also don't have to get confessions. Um, I just have to get it within the year of my baptism. So before next April, since I'm getting baptized in April. So if you guys have any questions about any of this, because like I said, I'm still learning, but I can probably help you out with any questions that you have for um, getting married in a Catholic church, um, leave them down below or you guys can message me on Instagram, which is at Sailor Christine. And it's down below in the description box as well. But but I hope this is helping you so far. Hi guys, I just wanted to check in with you all and let you know that I've officially finished my RCIA classes. So I've done all my readings, I've done all my meetings with my teacher. And next week I officially get baptized, so I think I'm ready. I'm feeling confident. Uh, she walked me through like the whole church today and like showed me like kind of what I'm gonna be doing and I feel pretty confident, so let's get baptized. Hi you guys, today is the day I am finally going to be baptized tonight. Um, and Holy Saturday, tomorrow is Easter. If you guys have made it this far in this video, I hope you found it helpful. Over the past few months, I started this at the end of January and it's now April 8th. 
So over the past few months, I have been taking RCIA classes to lead up to my baptism, confirmation, and communion all in one, which is today. I'm actually very nervous, but I did watch some YouTube videos on kind of how exactly it goes down, even though I did like walk through it with my teacher, but um, so that's why I wanted to make this video too, just to put another video out there on the internet. Uh, to kind of help you guys if you are nervous or in the same boat as me. So if you guys did find this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it and I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, but before we go, I want to play some clips of the day. I, however, cannot film in the church um, for obvious reasons, but I will show you guys some clips of like the day and yeah, I am finally getting baptized. Love you guys. Who will be baptized, received into the church today. Okay, guys, so yesterday was a super special day, and I just wanted to show you guys first of all, look at all of these cards that I received from people in the community and the church. There's like literally like 35 to 40 cards. This is so nice. I got my certificate. And then I got all of these really sweet notes from all the kids in catechism. They're so cute and they're all like personally written. I got this gorgeous cross from my RCAA teacher, Lori. It's beautiful. I got some really pretty earrings. I got a bracelet with little crosses on the inside. Somebody handmade this, which is super cute. I got a candle, some hair stuff. This is from my mom. And then my mom also got me this gorgeous rosary. It's so pretty. But yeah, yesterday was a really special day. I also got my candle that we lit and this for a keepsake this stuff is just all so special and yesterday was a really good day so happy easter to all of you